So step one for this monochromatic silhouette collage was collecting all of the bits of your color. Um, I th I'm thinking this is probably enough to cover my seven by seven inch square, which is the size that we're gonna be working. I went through and I cut out all of the yellow and cut off any extra stuff that I didn't want in there. Some of the bigger pieces I cut into chunks because I want a nice variety across the surface. So this was one piece and I cut it into two pieces because it was pretty big. Um, and you can have sharp edges using scissors like this where they're all kind of rectangular or triangular shapes. Or if you would prefer, you could have torn edges for a different kind of look. So I'll do torn edges on my other example, but this example with the yellow, I'm gonna use hard edges. So torn edges if you want, or hard edges. Um, what you need is a piece of newspaper to go under your um, paper while you do your gluing. If there's wet glue on your newspaper, just like fold the page over so that there's no wet glue where you're working. And then you need a little container of glue and you need a glue brush. Um, and then basically, you are just gonna start taking your pieces and we're gonna paint the glue on. So you're gonna paint down an area of glue, stick down the piece of magazine, and then paint the glue over the top. I should say, super important, because these are gonna have to go on the drying rack. It is super, super important that you put your name and class period on the back. I'll come around and check and make sure that you've all done that. Because it can't go in your folder while it's drying, it has to be on the drying rack, and so we have to organize them. So, paint down an area of glue, try to get good coverage, stick down the piece of magazine, a little bit more glue, paint a layer over the top. This is a different way to glue down a collage than we did when we did um, this technique in the fall. So, paint down some glue, stick down the piece of magazine, and then paint some more glue over the top. The glue dries clear and it creates a coating over the whole thing that protects it and it also looks kind of cool. So you're layering this up and you're not leaving any white space showing. No gaps and you're filling the whole paper. Glue, thin layer of glue underneath, and then paint another layer of glue over the top. You wanna make sure that the whole area like between the paper, the white paper, and the piece that you're gluing down, that whole area needs to be covered with glue because if you have gaps, then it might not stick and it might peel up. You can feel free to overlap your pieces. I decided to change what I was putting there because those two pieces were too similar to each other. You wanna have some variety in this. So part of the point of this project is working with monochromatic color scheme, which means one color, but trying to find a nice amount of variety even within just a single color. So all of these little swatches are mostly yellow 
There can be tiny bits of other colors or black and white mixed in with these, but you want it mostly yellow. If you have any little bits and pieces that you think are like cool or funny, like I like this little yellow guy looking at a painting of a yellow donkey. So I'm gonna save that for last and maybe put it on the top. But other than that, it doesn't really matter where you place things. You just wanna make sure that all of the white cardstock gets covered up. And if your papers hang off the edge, that is okay. We will trim off those extra bits once it's dry. So I'm gonna pause now and finish it up. And then I'll show you what this step of the process will look like when you're done with it, when you're ready to move on to the next step. 